Hi, my name is Mia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video about living here in Rota, Spain. As you can tell by the title of this video, today is all about the cost of living here in this beautiful city of Rota. And just as a little disclaimer up front, these prices are gonna be very much the American prices rather than the local ones. I'll get more into that at a later point. Yeah, this video is very much tailored to US military stationed here at Rota Naval Station, Spain. Okay, <laughs> with that out of the way, um, let's head right into the video. <clears throat> the biggest expense month to month is obviously gonna be your rent. And let me tell you, the rent for Americans is very much a different ballgame from what the locals here or other foreigners would pay. And that is, of course, because the military gives us OHA. So the Spaniards will get away with charging us the maximum amount that we receive from OHA. Now, obviously, um, OHA will depend on your rank and whether you have dependents or you're single and so on and so forth. Now for us it is my husband being active duty and then me his dependent and we get 1200 euros a month um, for OHA to spend on our rent which is exactly what our landlord charges us and just for reference our neighbors who live in the exact same house only pay 650 euros a month. So, like I said, very different locals versus Americans. Our builds. Now, again, I feel like I have to give a disclaimer for that because we are very much conscious of our electricity, water and gas usage here. We care very much about the environment. If you've been around the channel for a while, then you know that about me. So we try to use as little water, as little electricity and as little gas as we can which is why our builds are very low compared to other people here now <laughs> for electricity we always pay between 50 and 60 euros a month it has never been above 60 for us even in the hottest months of summer or the coldest months of winter with the ac or heater running um, but with inflation and just prices going up it has also not gone below 50 euros for us these months okay but what we have heard from friends colleagues co-workers um they do pay around like 200 a month um which would be running the ac heater tv a lot all that kind of stuff which is just things that we don't do and obviously your cost will also depend on your electricity provider and this is just the one that our house came with we didn't bother to change it because we were pretty satisfied with the prices. Now, with the water, it's a little bit harder to conserve water for us um, because it does get really, really hot and humid here, so daily showers are a must. Um, also, we have a little patch of grass in front of our house with some flowers that need watering. Um, and again, it is the two of us. so two people showering daily and doing the dishes, washing laundry, all that kind of stuff, runs us around 35 euros a month, every month, pretty much consistently. The price has not really gone up for water here. So yeah, that has been what we've been paying. And lastly, gas. Yes, <laughs> um, gas is a big thing here. Most houses have like gas water heaters and also gas stoves. So that's the two areas in our house that we need butane gas tanks for. The price of those has gone up a lot. One tank used to cost us 16 or 17 euros and now we're looking at 19 to 20 euros. Again, we try to conserve gas. We always turn the gas off as soon as we're done showering or cooking or whatever we need that gas for at the moment. And we also do our best to sometimes shower cold if the weather is hot enough to allow that. And we have found that on average we go through about one tank a month, so that would run us about 20 euros a month for gas. Moving on to Wi-Fi and phone builds. Now, the Wi-Fi here is quite tricky um, because in order to have Wi-Fi installed, you need to have a knee number, which is a 
Spanish personal number, which you can get on base. It's a whole process. It's not impossible for you to get it. So if you want to decide your own Wi-Fi, then that is definitely a route that you can consider taking. But for us, we just asked our landlord to install Wi-Fi for us as we do not have any number. And so yeah, they just gave us whatever they saw fit. Uh, we are now under a company called Datono. Um, the Wi-Fi is pretty decent. Some days it's great, others it's really lacking. But for our needs, it's fine. And um, our landlord pays for it, so <laughs> um, that is not a cost to us. Again, Wi-Fi costs will obviously vary greatly by what company you get and so on and so forth. Um, now on to the phone build. The most common provider here is called DG. Um, they have it on base, so pretty much first thing you do when you come here is you just go to to the next and get your SIM card. And they are very cheap, especially compared to American prices, so you will be very happy about that. For just 5 euros you can get 6 gigabytes a month and for 20 euros on the high end you will get 30 gigabytes of data a month. So you can pretty much choose whatever you want in between. I usually go for the um, 5 euro version. My husband sometimes opts for the 10 euro one. So we always look at about 10 to 15 euros a month for the both of us together for our yeah SIM card, which has been great, has been working great. Usually when we travel outside of the country, we um, go with the highest data possible just because they will cut it down for you significantly um, by percentage as soon as you leave Spain. And so if you want to have decent data available to you outside of this country within the EU, then you might want to get something higher for that month. And it is just on a pay by month basis so you can always adjust every month, see how you like it, see what works for you. Next up would be groceries. And again, another disclaimer, my husband and I eat exclusively vegan at home. So just keep that in mind with the prices. Meat is obviously going to be more expensive than vegetables are. But I guess we do balance it out in a way because we go to like zero waste and organic grocery stores quite regularly, which obviously have higher prices for higher quality produce and um, yeah, just some different treats for us as well. But we are looking at about 500 to 600 at the most um, a month for groceries and that just depends on what we buy in that month if we buy a lot of kombucha that's obviously expensive if we need new oil or new seasoning it's going to bump up the price a bit but yeah around like 550 dollars at the as the middle ground is what we are looking to spend for just the two of us on groceries every month next up and I will count this as like a, a luxury item, so a little bit separate from the regular builds would be your car, everything surrounding your car. Now the reason I'm counting this as a luxury is because there's really no need for you to have a car here in Rota. It is a very small city, it's very walkable. If anything, you can get a bike and get from point A to B faster. But yeah, we do have a car. We've had one in the States, we brought it over here. It's a Honda Civic and we obviously have to pay insurance for it, which is the most expensive thing here about this car because insurance is significantly higher here in Spain than it was where we were stationed before in North Dakota. So we pay about $170 a month on insurance. And again, little disclaimer, um, my husband and I are both under the age of 25, so it is more expensive. That's what we pay. You can obviously find cheaper insurance if you switch to a European one, maybe. Um, we just kept our USA insurance and it runs us $170 a month, which hurts. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a reality for us. Then you're looking at gas. Again, gas is kind of optional because if you walk or ride your bike, then you don't need to put gas in your car. And I don't even know if it's necessary to mention the price of gas here because it varies drastically, especially over the last few months. Um, but I'm going to put it out for you here anyways. 
on base. I usually follow the average price of gas within the entire country of the US. So they will pretty much aim for the, for the median price of um, gas of what it would be back in the States. So you will find gas much cheaper on base than you will off base. Right now, gas off base is pretty expensive. You're looking at about um, 163, 165 per liter, which is well over six um, euros per gallon. And on base, you're looking at around like 350, four um, euros per gallon. So just something to keep in mind. Again, the price of gas has been fluctuating and I expect it to fluctuate more in the future. So um, that's just the current state of things. And, of course, depending on which month you're in, whether you need an ITV inspection, which is um, basically the Spanish check your car if it's all running well, if you need a tire change or any repairs, that kind of stuff, um, that will obviously add on top. The ITV inspection itself costs some money. So yeah, just keep that in mind. That might add to your monthly expenses, but that is definitely not a reoccurring thing. It's just um, a one-time expense in this case. And um, if you're looking to go shopping for clothes or technology or whatever you please off base in the local economy, then of course you are looking to pay for everything in euros. So it will mostly be a bit more expensive. Um, so if you compare the, for example, an iPhone price in the US versus one here in Spain, uh, oftentimes you'll find that it is the exact same number, but obviously euros are going to cost you a few more dollars um, than the other way around. So just something to keep in mind. Same with like shoes. If you have a favorite pair of running shoes, um, be that Nike on Saucony, whatever you wear um, and you are looking to buy them here in Spain, then again, you will be paying in euros and it'll be more expensive. But yeah, I guess it's a give and take because groceries here are very cheap, but a few other amenities are much more expensive. So yeah, that is pretty much um, all I have gathered for you here. Again, your costs will vary widely depending on how many people you are, depending on your, on your habits at home. We have calculated our costs to end up around $2,000 a month total. That includes rent gas, car insurance, food, everything for us. It might be more expensive for you, it might be cheaper for you. Um, I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you want me to talk about something else about life here in Rota, then leave me a comment down below. Give me some yeah, video requests and I'll try my best to make a video about it for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.